สวัสดีค่ะพี่น้องชาวไทย Welcome to my channel, guys. Um, it's make a fun with u i I'm back again, and this time I'm creating some fun look for you guys and more wearable this time. Hope you guys enjoy it, and please subscribe and click like for me. Thank you. So first, we're gonna prime our face with this one. Head all over your face. And then I'm gonna mix these two together because this one is too light for me and this one is too dark. So this will be the perfect combination. Don't worry, I wash my hands already. My hands are clean. So don't gross out if I put my fingers on my face. <laughs> okay, tap tap. Make sure you get your hairline too, but don't go overboard because you're gonna get your hair Cover with foundation all over. I think we're good. Then next we're gonna use the concealer from NARS. This concealer is pretty thick. to focus on my under eyes because lately I look like a panda I usually don't use the eye primer when I do the eyeshadow so I usually just cover my eyelid with the concealer instead it helped me and it's easy save me one step and i use a sponge from morphe this one not really my favorite because it's too stiff but i ran out of my sponge today so yeah gonna stick with this one next i'm gonna bake my face with the cat bondi Lock it powder. I usually put it on my T zone because that's where it get oily for me. I have combination skin, but when it's get warmer, it get pretty oily during the day. Next, I'm gonna do my brow, but I'm probably gonna speed it up because it's always the same process. with my brow I'm not so good at it but um I always put the brow gel at the end because right now we're putting powders and still gonna do eyeshadow and everything so it's gonna get on the brow and it might like get caught on like when I put the brow gel right now so I usually do that at the end okay got some brow I'm happy next one we're gonna do the eyeshadow with this palette whoa so pretty. Okay. Use the white. Put on the base. Next, I'm going to use this color. Oh. 
Beautiful. So pretty much just put it all over the upper lid. I'm going in with this color. I'm going to put it all over the lid, just leave the end part. Okay. It's okay, we're going to blend it like this. Next, I'm going to put this dark brown, this one, on the outer V. Drag it in. Blend, 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 blend. I'm just going to keep blending. Still going back with the pink to add more pigment. Oh. You know, the eyeshadow brush is really important if you choose the good one because some of them, they don't pick up the shadow. So it doesn't show the pigment of it. This one is so good. I got it from Sephora years ago and I'm still loving it. I think then you're just blending all the edges to soften it out because it looks very sharp before it's better and then I'm going to add the black one right here on the outer V to dark it out a little bit to add more drama next I'm gonna add this color to kind of connect the two colors together to soften it up a little bit and then I'm going in with the Stella the glitter shadow make this pop okay um so the last one i'm gonna take this color to put it up here To make a smoky effect and to blend it all so I end up um, adding another coat of the, the glitter shadow to make it more intense yeah. okay next one we're gonna wipe off all the powder Next, we're going to t 
take this pink one. Put it under here. Back it out. I'm gonna take the dark brown color here. Put on the outer part. Then I'm taking the brush, like very pointy. And then close to the water line. Okay. And then back to the pink one again. I'm gonna put it inner part okay and then um let's finish up the eyes by using the eyeliner from NYX I'm gonna put it on the waterline Okay, now let's move on to the rest of the face. So we're gonna use this one to bronze and contour. So I usually use this one. Let's use to bronze it. I'm not that big of a fan of contour, but Gonna try it one day. Make sure you get the jawline. Clamp it down a bit. Next. Then I'm gonna onto my nose a tiny bit with that same bronzer I usually drag it all the way up to connect with my brow Next, we're going to put the highlighter from Becca. Love this one. So, the highest point of your face. Just drag it up here. Let the C shape. To my nose. I usually don't drag like a straight line, just pointy here, in the middle here, and then here, a little bit of here. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with the blush palette right here. So I'm gonna go in with the pink here, the lighter pink. Tap, put it on the apple of the cheek. And then, 
little bit here. Next, we're going to go in with the eyeliner from NYX. And then I usually use the Kat Von D tattoo liner to do my wing. Next, I'm going to do my lash real quick with this combination of the Lancome Lash Primer and the Maybelline the Falsy. Which I've been using this for a really long time. So I like to coat my lashes with this primer first. Then I usually go in with the mascara with two coats of mascara to make it look thicker and fuller. So next thing we're gonna use the the brow pencil elf to really shape up the brow before we go in with the brown gel. Then with the brow gel, I'm using the NYX. Brush it up. Okay. And the last thing, last but not least, we're gonna go into with some lip liner from Stella. It's like my favorite lip liner. So I like to fill in my lip, the whole entire lip, with the lip liner because my lips color kind of dark. So I really want to show the color, the real color of the lipstick. So I usually just cover it, cover the whole thing. And then we're going in with the tart, the tartiest lip paint. Love this color. So here's the final look. Hope you guys like it and please subscribe and click like for me. Thank you so much and uh, hope everyone is safe and healthy. Sending all the love to all of you guys. See you next time. Bye.